What's up and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on the AGC Andis Clippers. So if you've ever used clippers that are not really brand name that are, well, that are like, you know, subpar, these ones are about $180. If you've ever used the cheaper clippers, then you probably know that cutting your dog's hair is basically um, an extreme headache. So today I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about the AGC clippers and I'm gonna show you how to trim a dog. My Cocker Spaniel here. I've trimmed them about, you know, probably roughly 30 times. I'm not a professional by any means, but I have trimmed quite a few dogs. Like he's already, he's already not happy here. How to trim a dog. The first thing I do is I go for the feet because the feet are the part that your dog has the least amount of patience for. So I'm gonna do the feet first and then I can get those out of the way. And how I get the paws is I just feel where the claws are there. And then I just uh, trim up like that. And obviously watch for the the claw at the back here because you don't want to hurt that and if you do nick that your dog's going to be uh, lose their patience very quickly so the paws are what's really going to test your patience and uh, like these are the cheap clippers these are just the wall clippers these have been used before the wall brand if your dog's hard to cut in the first place the difference between these two clippers one of them these clippers are fairly silent and they just cut off the fur like butter these clippers i just want to show you these are the wall brand the wall brand right there and let's see they're already that much harder to do they're about thirty dollars hear the difference just like butter We'll try one more time. These clippers are actually garbage. So right there, he has zero patience for those. So it makes your job a lot more difficult. So really, if you thought it was hard clipping your dog, it may just be the clippers are not, you know, not good enough. To clip your dog at a normal salon, it's usually about... 50 to 60 dollars minimum to get your dog clipped so these clippers for about under 200 dollars these are actually the one speed but you can actually get the two speed version but i felt like i didn't need the two speed it's about 30 dollars more but they're under 200 dollars so technically in four three to four haircuts these have paid themselves off it'd be great if uh if you don't have a proper table or your dog's a little bit hard to handle it's, it always helps if you have someone with you that can maybe help hold the dog because you know they're not gonna have patience for long. He's been through the hair cutting process many times and he still doesn't enjoy it. And at the professional salons, they do have a, a leash that goes around the dog's neck, holds them, which would make life easier. But you know, the clippers are the main thing. So when I do the back, follow the pattern of the fur. So from head to tail, and these clippers, check this out. These clippers, like nothing, like butter. Let's try these again. <laughs> if you have to use these clippers, you're setting yourself up for failure. And it really doesn't matter what you do to them, what setting it's on, they're horrible. For cutting, Human hair, it's a completely different story. For cutting a dog's hair, it's so thick, it, you're just setting yourself up for failure and the expensive clippers are well worth the price. Let's, let's see again, look, look. I'm trying my best. And let's check that out, you can hear the difference. Look at that. Here's the Andis AGC clippers. We're gonna go from head to tail. Watch, look at this. If you wanted to invest in clippers and you weren't sure, look at that, beautiful.
I want to show you these ones again. If we want to do the same thing, we have no chance here. These are terrible. Amazing. It's like effortless. Hey, you all right? Okay. So now the last part I've done for you is his face. And just take it easy with his face. I trim around the eyes first and I just kind of hold his skin back then you can see where the eye is. Get that part out of the way. This, this dog got a lot of skin, so I stretch the skin a little bit, or pull it. Then I can kind of know what I'm doing. And he's also got a lot of uh, fur inside the middle of his nose. But these clippers are good for that close-up stuff. And now the ears. I just kind of let him do whatever, and I just move to another part. If he, if he doesn't like it for a second there. Make it easier on both of us. These ones heat up, but I can still pretty much hold my finger to them. No problem. They're a little hot, but I've been using them for about 45 minutes straight. So these uh, clippers are great for detailed work. And they're great for just uh, hacking through thick fur. They're pretty good all around clippers, that's for sure. Um, where the cheap ones, you can't even compare. These ones pretty much do everything. And they're just uh, amazing. Every, every so often I put uh, some oil on the blades just to lubricate them. Sometimes they even use olive oil. Just any kind of oil just to lubricate them. That's fine. Now, inside his ears, the ear canal just gets completely sealed off by the weight of the ear and it, how, how it hangs down and folds it up. So inside all this hair here, all this, he's actually had some medication, that's why it looks greasy. All this hair here, that helps to seal it up. So we, what we wanna do is get rid of all that. That's all greasy, but what I like to do is get rid of all this so we can get a little bit more airflow in the ear. These clippers are good for places like this. Trimming through the thick, gross, greasy fur would basically be next to impossible with the, the other trimmers. So I hope you enjoyed the Andis AGC review. And trimming your dog is not a fun experience, but these clippers are gonna make it a lot more enjoyable for you. They're gonna pay themselves off so make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. I'm always trying to come up with new videos. If you really wanna know how these clippers are compared to the cheaper clippers, which are complete garbage in my opinion, I give these a five star rating. I've used them 30 times, 30 haircuts. They're still same blade, they're still cutting. I can, I can feel that they are getting a little duller, but you know, a quick change of a blade and uh, they're gonna trim like brand new. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Until next time, this is the Review King signing out.